There's an old fable of a great big lion who was taking his afternoon nap when he was rudely awakened by a mouse running across his nose. Now the mouse didn't mean to do that. It was just that he came so unexpectedly onto the lion that in his haste to get away, he ran where he shouldn't have. In a heartbeat though, the lion put his great big paw on the little mouse and was about to have an afternoon snack after his afternoon nap. But the mouse began pleading for his life. Please, Mr. Lion, let me go and I will definitely repay you for your kindness and help you when you need it. The lion was bemused by this because when would he, the king of the beasts, ever need the help of a small insignificant creature like the mouse? And so he started laughing and being in a better mood, decided to let the mouse go, for which the mouse said he was eternally grateful. Again, the lion just laughed it off. Just so happened though, that a few days later, while stalking his prey, the lion was caught in the hunter's net. And no matter how hard he tried to free himself, he just couldn't do it. In frustration, he gave a mighty roar. And that roar was heard by the little mouse, who knew the voice and knew his promise. And so he ran as quickly as he could to the aid of the great lion. And when he found him all tangled up, he began gnawing at the net. And not long after that, the lion was free. This time, the lion wasn't laughing at the mouse. Instead, he thanked the mouse sincerely for his help and the important lesson that you don't have to be big to make a big difference. Friends, I think there are two important lessons for us in this story as well. First of all, never think so much of yourself that you think you will never need the help of others. Always be kind to those around you, even if you think you've got it all together, as there may come a time when you need help. And secondly, never think so little of yourself that you think you cannot make a difference. You don't have to be the biggest or the strongest or the best to make a difference. You just have to be you. So, may I encourage you, as you go into today, to look for opportunities to help wherever you can and to accept help when it's offered to you. Because whether you're a lion or a mouse, we all need each other.